Here we are with part two of our XP Piglin Farm series for Bedrock. Come take a look at how we expanded to eight portals and let us know in the comments if you think we should push the limits and try for 12. We'd like to continue what we're doing, bringing you bigger and better videos. So please hit the subscribe button now. Yeah, we totally made eight portals instead of three because I remember like when I was doing it, uh, I totally am a bedrock user. The maximum amount of portals that I my device was able to run is three, I guess. And I couldn't figure out how to increase it without my phone freeze. Mm. Yeah. But then we solved that problem, I guess. It's pretty cool. So this is the first floor. Then let's show maybe the roof. Yeah. The hiding room. We made water elevator. All right, so here we are at the top of our XP Piglin Farm system and this beautiful atmospheric glass that we have here to look down through. By the way, if someone is wondering, I'm using Titan glass. This glass is, uh, it, it, it can stop the light. You can use it for the spawners, mob spawners. The light can't go through this kind of glass and it looks pretty good. So what's up here? What do we do up here? Yeah, that's that's where you're gonna find me. You're gonna <laughs> find me here always thinking here looking down just thinking And this water elevator here in the middle is actually the escape uh, The escape elevator from the kill chamber because this farm is also pretty dangerous even after the modify we did So let's go to the kill room show the guys about it. Okay going down the mobs the mobs will coming fr through the portals it keep turning on and off so that will cause mobs uh, or big lane coming through the portals all the way through the water catchment system which I think we should go spectator mode show them yep okay so the watch water catchment system isn't that great it can't be changed it it's just working things out it deliver every two portals it connect them to one kill chamber I still can suggest even a better way or even to expand this farm mm -hmm. to 12 portals but right now we have eight connected and ideas about how you might be able to go up to 12. Yeah, I can uh, suggest a few in the end of this video if they are interested how to make it 12 portals because look, if you wanna, if you are making 8 portals, line it up like this, the water catchment system will hurt the rate because mm. you are lining up portals in front of each other. So the more you make, the more it will be far from the kill room mm. or the kill chamber room. So that hurt the rate. So technically 8 portals on paper it needs one minute from zero level to 30 but because i made it line it up like this if you try it it will be one minute and 20 26 mm -hmm. seconds mm -hmm. from zero to 30. but i can sh say how i can solve this problem the guys interested i wish if they tell me I, we can make it so we have four kill chambers configured around this central xp gathering area the reason why i can make eight instead of three and even i tried it and it's less lag even than three uh, the xp orbs are stacking the design of the kill a trident killer is blocking the xp from going through and the second reason is the items the hoppers are not fast enough to take and sort all the items so if you are able to solve the XP stacking issue and the items issue, you're going to be able to make more and more portals. So right here, I'm standing in the middle of the kill room. What are we going to call it? Yeah, kill room. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I was able to take one block from the Trident Killer and it somehow s it was still able to work. So that gave me a clue. If I do four like this, that it might work. So if you guys going to do this, like this you need to take a block from here and put instead a redstone dust but you need to make sure that is the observer on the left is facing toward the piston on the right so it give the signal to the piston it deliver the signal so the trident killer will still be able to work 
I made the room at the kill room three by three. The reason is all the trident killers supplying each other. Like for example, there is a switch here. If I turn it on, all of the four of them will work. I, I didn't use a single red dust to connect four of them. They are just supplying each other. With the corner redstone torch, right? Yeah, about the corners. Uh, you know, people can make Trident Killer like we're using eight observers, and they can make it with four observers and four red torches. So in the corners, I remove the uh, observer and put instead a red torch. So they are sharing corners. That way, you, if you put a, a lever here on this piston and you turn it off, they all gonna stop. So we've got the four kill chambers connected, and the player stands in the center, um, but the XP flow is enhanced by having this gap in the trident killer. So XP can flow through two solid blocks. Yeah, if I stand here, if this uh, gap in front of me not exist, I need to stand right here to be able to collect XP. If I go back one step, I won't be able. If it's closed, this is the maximum range for the XP orbs to travel. But in the open, XP orbs is able to travel seven blocks. So this is the key to reduce lag. One of them, one of the main keys. Someone will ask why are you using trapdoor? Each kill chamber or trident killer, there is a, a limit that is related to the amount of piglin that is is able to deal with. Mm -hmm. If that limit is be, being crossed, the piglin will be pushed. And if they are pushed out from the trident room or the uh, trident killer room, they gonna attack you. So the trapdoor, the game will consider trapdoor as if it is a block. But if I place it the right way, technically it's a sold block, but it's gonna let uh, the XP orbs come to me. But they need to place it like this facing this direction. The only problem for causing a gap in the Trident Killer, a uh, baby big lane will be able to stand there, but don't worry, they won't be stacking over time. Like you're gonna get around eight or 10 babies, and let's assume that you finished from using this XP farm, you're just gonna use the water elevator to escape. Mm -hmm. I just go through the water elevator, uh, then they will despawn. So to block the big link from escaping towards me, I uh, I use it also signs above the trapdoors. It's not also just to hold the water, but it also act as a salt block. Here in front of me, I use the glass because mm -hmm. I can use salt block, yeah. but in front of me here, I can't put the glass. Right. Uh, by the way, they can make it for five by five, oh. not like me, three yeah. by three. In a 5x5, five five, it's similar to the 3x3, three three, only you do need to use a little extra redstone dust to connect the four trident killers so that they'll go on just one switch. So if they are able to place the trapdoors like this, it will the XP orbs will be able to flow or go through the gap below, and they are 100% protected from being attacked. So uh, we used also uh, minecarts with hoppers, not just hoppers, because we are dealing with a large amount of piglins. They are like, they're gonna keep jumping while they are being killed, and I need to kill them fast as possible. So I put stone, and below the stone I put minecarts with hopper, because minecarts with hopper can collect uh, items if you place them below a solid block, but the hoppers can't. The hoppers need a slab. Okay, so the main two reasons that we can't make more than three portals, it will cause a lot of lag. The first thing, there are XP, XP orbs. The XP orbs can't flow to you or come to you easily like this. They will go to you immediately. Second thing, the items in the uh, kill chamber, yeah, the hoppers are not fast enough to take them all. So what I'm gonna do is, if you can see me here, if you are with me, uh, if you can look what I'm looking to, usually we connect three hoppers to one. And that one, no matter how many hoppers you connect to, it can take more than what it can. So here I just connected every hopper to the one next to it. And then I made an auto sorter. So in the older design, 
there was only one auto sorter. So the corner hopper be, uh, before the item sorter, it will, it will like be full and it can take the whole items that is coming from the killed uh, champers to help to help the hoppers and increase the speed that how much the hoppers can take from the items that coming from mobs when they killed i made a second auto sorter i want a double speed the amount of items that being taken from the killed champers each auto sorter uh, i connected two uh, kill champers to it so two auto sorters for four kill champers in the old design uh, we were like connecting one uh, three porter three portals to one kill champer and this kill champer is connected to one auto sorter mm -hmm. even that old design it, it will keep stacking items and there is a limit where hoppers can no longer take the whole item from the killed mobs. So I got like uh, two kill champers connected to one auto sorter. That means the auto sorter connected to four portals. So this is what it can handle. So if I'm gonna make 12 portals, I recommend making four auto sorters. It's not necessarily be that large as I did here. I just want to make uh, a lot of space. All right, currently you are taking a full speed. Yep. I'm at 40. So, uh, to be honest, my phone is like uh, not too good, not too bad. It's a mid tire. Mid tire. It's a Redmi Note 7. It runs uh, at 45 FPS. So, and I'm still be able to play perfectly while it's running. Actually, it's better than the old design. Yeah, the old design where the XP orbs can't flow or the hoppers are not fast enough. And currently, I'm on my computer so that I can record. Otherwise, I'm usually playing on the Switch. The lag, it will happen a little, but not effective as the old XP farm. Right. There is no escaped big, big lens as far. Yeah. Nope. And... This one. No stacked items. Actually, if they're gonna add more portals, even we solve it, this issue of stacking XP or items, the game itself will not, not uh, help you anymore. It will stop, stop you from doing that. Like, until Mojang changed the, the fast of items being traveled through hoppers, and until they change the range of the XP orbs, no, there is a limit nobody can cross of making these portals. There is a limit. Like the most efficient trident killers are two by two. I tried two by one, three by three. Two by two is the most efficient. It can kill the, the mobs the fastest. So until someone invent a new a new faster trident killer and until Mojang change the, the these things about hoppers and XP orbs range, nobody can make uh, or increase uh, portals to this XP farm. There is a limit and eight is close, to, very close to that limit. We were discussing if you are gonna try make 12, 12 is, uh, it might be considered a risky but I think it will work. I, I have something in my mind that I want to try. I can make work it out. So let let uh, let the, you guys tell us in the comments below if you guys want to see it. Maybe. Definitely.